Okay, so I got Amulek today, and we're going to talk about a trade, uh, IVR trade, Invesco Mortgage Capital. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, slice and dice this trade. So let's get started. I'm like, go ahead. Uh, what trade do you have in IVR and, and how do we want to play it? Sure. I uh, appreciate for the time, uh, Mitt. And yeah, I have a long position, uh, 2023. Okay, 2023. Yeah, I have the $4 strike call. Okay, $4 strike call. This one right here, right? Yeah, yeah. so... I got in uh, about like a week ago and the, the stock is up and down right now. So mm -hmm. I just want to know the, the option to, you know, doing some uh, strategy to maybe sell some earlier call to against it. And I, I want to know what's your mind about it. Okay, so, so since you have 2023, that means you're long-term bullish on this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, long-term bullish. Uh, and uh, what was your cost basis on this one? It's trading around, you know, 35, 40 cents today. Yeah, uh, let me take a look. It's 40, uh, 42 cents. 42 cents. So you're kind of seeing probably a few pennies uh, down a little bit. So uh, that's that's fine. Now let's see how we can hedge this. Uh, you own this. Let's see if we can find something pretty uh, decent for you. Uh, so first step is I like to at least look out 45 days. You know, so the next 45 days out is Jan 15th. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, we don't have much money in the 16 Delta here. Let's see if we can go further out, find something. It's a 24 Delta. Mm. Let's see. We need to go ahead and see the call side now. At 16 Delta is not much. Uh, let's go to June. So what's your, can, can you give me a little bit of insight? Uh, what are your price levels? Are you expecting this to go to five bucks or something? What's your thought? Yeah, I think uh, by two year, uh, it definitely will go by to five bucks, something like five, that. Five bucks at least in two two years or so, right? I think in during the summertime, uh, they shoot up to six or seven. Uh, in summer, okay. okay. Summertime. Yeah. It was two or three at that time. I actually, uh, yeah, see yeah. that as a, a as a potential. Okay, I, I know this is very long term, but um, no, I'll be honest with you here. This is like if I sold a call at, you know, uh, if I sold a call at seven dollars, right? Here, I'll collect 10 cents, but I, I'll tell you, this is really far out, 435 days, okay? So that's that's not a good contract. This is December, anything here, no volume. Yeah, there's nothing much here. Um, let me see one more thing here, uh, January. Look, this is all empty, yeah, nothing. This is not a liquid contract, buddy. Like it's not too liquid enough with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of volume out there. Yes. To, to play with. So that, that being said, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a strong opinion here. Uh, let me see if I can find something. It's 350, right? Mm. If I had to push myself to do something, let's see. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So November, let's see nothing. Here, here's what I'm thinking, buddy. Okay. Since now this this pretty much says that you're you're not hoping for a big move uh, in the winter. Okay, which is this one? Like you think it's it's not gonna go above three fifty by December? Okay, 
So, so here, look, you paid about 40 right here. What you can do is by December 18th, you can sell this $3.50, but you may be able to get a fill at uh, somewhere between six, seven pennies kind of thing. So that will help offset some of the loss you've already incurred here kind of thing. And if it goes up, okay, we can roll this out to maybe four or five dollars in the future months, like January or something like that. Okay. The, the whole idea is, and then this will start at least monetizing for you. I think this is a fair play uh, because, uh, and then let me look at the, uh, yeah, theta decay. That's 0.25, that's 0 0.04. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this will decay faster. You see, it's gonna decay like significantly faster. So that means I, I feel that this seems to be a fair thing to do, collect six, six dollars out of this and then to cover the loss here and just pray like if it doesn't go above 350, you're fine. If it reaches 350, okay, this will start losing in value, but you'll be able to push the can forward to a four dollar strike mm -hmm. in January or something of that sort. Got it? Yep. So then at least you're now reducing your cost basis a little bit by doing that. Okay. Okay. So I, I think that's pretty fair to do. Okay, beside uh, looking for the low delta uh, less than 16, what other like criteria or other thing you're looking for to to sell the the call against it? So I'm looking at theta. I'm looking at theta. Uh, I'm looking at uh, uh, open interest. I'm looking at you see the price points here. There's really not much any open interest activity. So there, there's really not much you can do here. Yeah, this is this is really bad, uh, bad product for options. I'll be frank with you. This is not a good, good product for options. Like um, there's limited choices we have here. So, so even if I found a 16 delta, I wouldn't feel comfortable here because this thing has got almost no activity. The volume is pretty low here. You know, uh, it's yeah, it's not even. In, in my opinion, this is not even a good, um, good, good options friendly contract to be in. Okay. Yeah. Because the low volume. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So now, now that you're already in, that's one suggestion I can give you. Okay. And what are your thoughts? Do you think it will go down to two bucks or something? Is it possible? Um, will it go below three? Let's look at the chart real quick. Three today. <laughs> look at this, man. Look at that. Boom, down. Yeah, this is this is crazy. It hasn't taken up after the crash, right? It's kind of like dropped like a rock, pretty much. Okay. That's why I'm betting it. Yeah. So so. You see, when I see this, okay, when I see this, I don't feel comfortable selling a call against it either. I would just keep it open the way you have it. It's it's how much, 30, 40 cents you paid? Just take your take your chances. It's long term. We're talking about two years. I my gut says that you may even cross, you know, you may even cross like you know six dollars easily, right? by a, a summer next summer or something it's possible when there's a spike in in uh, mortgages maybe you you take advantage of that spike so why sell a call you know uh, i i don't see the value in selling call unless you right now your motive is i just want to get out of this now i i don't want to be in it no i still want to stay in it i just want to learn more strategy to you know offset my original costs if that is the case and you want to stable, uh, how many contracts are we dealing with here? About I have 
50 contracts. 50? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I don't know, you probably have to portfolio manage yourself there. But, you know, if you have additional capital, I, I would manage this a little differently, okay? I would invest a little bit more. If you're very bullish, I would invest a little bit more of money and sell puts on this one, not sell calls, right? Just keep selling puts at $3. Fair enough. You collect, if you sell, sell puts at $3, guess what's going to happen? You'll be, you'll be collecting 15 cents, okay? It's lowering your cost basis significantly. If it, if it goes below $3, Guess what you can do? You can take assignment on it, make them covered calls while you keep holding on to this position. So it's called layering, having this position layer another covered call strategy on top of it. You know, fair enough, right? Like if it goes below three, take assignment, covered call it. Take assignment, covered call it. Uh, or uh, roll it further down, right? Uh, we can go ahead and take this three and push it down another strike to maybe 2.5 further out in time. So you don't take assignment, but you go ahead and roll it down. I think that is a fair approach uh, if you want to be long-term bullish on this. But this requires additional capital. It's not, this covered call will require no capital. So. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Cool, cool. Any other any other uh, stock tickers? Uh, that's it for now. That's it for now. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, oh, can I ask another one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, the the Hydeon. Oh, that's my favorite. H Y L M. Yeah. And they're signing up contracts like crazy. Yeah, they're they're actually retrofitting all those trucks out there into uh, electric slash hydro, uh, hydrogen powered uh, truck uh, trucks. So yeah. they're using they're not using they're not like just building their own trucks. They're actually going out and retrofit fitting existing some kind of modification to make more. Yeah, so they can be in more space. They have more market share. Yeah, agree. Yeah. You take less capital. So I actually bought this in my Ross Iowa account. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check. Yeah, let me show you. I even have a trade on that alien right here. Okay, so let's see. Yep, I, I was one of the early ones that jumped in, but uh, we have two fifteen dollar calls, seven ninety nine, and I'm I'm hedging it as well, so making money off of it. But I can. I can discuss your trade and kind of give you a little bit of input on how to hedge it. Yeah. Yeah, let me pull it out real quick. Yeah, I have a long call 2023 again. Long call 2023. Yeah. Uh, what strike? Uh, 80. Oh yeah, in my I, I in my opinion, I probably didn't get a really good feel because I was playing around and I think I was super bullish and I just you know find the yeah the longest. So, this is this is not a good contract to pick. Eighty is like like yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. You just want to hold on to this. You just pray that some miracle happens in the next year or so that. This thing goes super bullish someday, right? You know, that's how Tesla played, right? If you think about it, right? Yeah. It, for the longest time, it stayed where it's staying. And then one fine day, it just kind of decided to take off, right? So I think this is similar in nature. One fine day, Hillian will take off someday, right? So, you know, I, I'm, I'm long on it, but I ended up buying a deep in the money call at uh, 15 instead. Cool. And actually, it's January 2023, right? So exactly, uh, we have the same uh, expiration, but I did this 15 because uh, if you look at the delta, you know, it's like 83 cents for every dollar you make up. So if it goes down, uh, you lose uh, less for every dollar. So what would be the ideal uh, delta when you buy the, the option? Like 
So it depends on long-term, short-term, medium-term kind of thing, right? So uh, if I'm very long-term, I like to find something in the 80s. Okay. What about short-term? Short-term? Yeah, I can go like a little bit, um, maybe like 60s, 50s, 60s. But the thing is that short-term also, you have to make a judgment call based on how short-term are you looking? Like, are you looking like, okay, in weeks this thing can bust out are you looking like in two months it will bust out you know you you have to make an assumption there uh, a little bit and then i can tell you where those levels would make sense can, can you explain why uh in the short term you were willing to lower down your delta but in the long term you want to have a higher delta because so when i say short term i mean i mean that I have a very bullish bias that it will supernova in the short term. Okay, I don't mean that I'm going to hold on to it short term and let it decay. Okay, so the reason I'm comfortable with that is because that is exactly where the growth trajectory is. That's exactly where that that phase right there between at the money and in the money is right where the shift happens and the delta grows exponentially. So I just want to go ahead and make the, 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 the most amount of ROI in the very short term within a week on it or two weeks. So that's why I feel better that way. But you have to have a very strong conviction, heavy conviction that this thing is going to like skyrocket in the next two weeks. If you don't have that conviction, you can't do this. You're going to get burned. The other reason I will tell you is, is that if it's short term, like, and you go a little bit out of the money, you're getting the contracts a little cheaper. So you know that you're not risking a lot of capital, right? Over there, you're gonna lose close to a dollar for dollar if it goes down. Here, you're not gonna lose a dollar for dollar. You're gonna lose less than a dollar for a dollar, significant, like maybe 50, 40 cents on a dollar if it goes down. So your loss is not as great as the long-term strategy. So that's why I feel comfortable doing a little bit out of the money on those who I have very high conviction on. Okay. Right? You see, like if I did, um, I did a little bit out of the money, I would lose like 50 cents or 60 cents on the dollar if it goes down. So I can manage my losses sooner and better, faster that way. And I can even, uh, what do you call, uh, hedge my positions at those price points because I know that I can eventually recoup my max loss out of it, uh, hedging it with the other positions. Okay, so since I already, you know, jump in for the like, $80 call, like any strategy I can hedge that or to collect some premium? Yeah, on the, yeah so I, I would like to, propose the same thing as the IVR thing. Um, like just keep dollar cost averaging by selling puts. You see, I think you did, you, you, you bought something relatively cheap, okay? $80, like you probably bought it, you know, your value right now is between $385, right? Uh, if you keep selling puts uh, short term, okay? against it, uh, if you sell puts at like maybe, like you see, uh, always go outside the expected move. So uh, like 16 Delta, the same rule I'm, I'm talking about earlier. On this one, actually, I would go a little bit, because since this is a, like a new new company, it's not a like a, you know, established company, um, I would go a little bit below the 16 Delta. So I, I like this one better, 16. Like, think about this. You keep doing this 16, 16, 16 every month. You'll eventually cover a lot of your costs that you did for the 80 Delta. So maybe in a year's time, you're going to be like, man, I don't even care what happens to Hillian. If it goes up, I'll make a ton. Otherwise, I have nothing to lose. I'll recover my cost. Okay. I see. Right? Fair enough. I, I think this is a, a good model to follow kind of thing. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Appreciate it. No, no worries. 
Eddie, did you have any questions? No, I'm just observing and learning <laughs> at <laughs> okay. this point. Yes, I was looking at uh, Helion. Yeah, looks like uh, there's potential for a pop in near future. Yeah, it definitely so, has potential um, for pop. I'm really bullish on this one. Yeah, I, I'm very bullish. Look at this. Ever since it came out, look, boom, 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 boom down, and then now back up. This was one of the first few specs that came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then they converted the ticker symbol later on. Yeah. It so was, what do you have? You do you have a you have in the money long leaps? Yeah, yeah, long leaps. That's it. So I have. I'll show you my trade. Right. I have right now. Uh, I have the fifteen dollar strike call, and I paid fourteen. So this is better than buying a stock. If you're going to buy hundred shares of helium, you rather do this instead. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I, anyone that was thinking about buying stock, I think this is a better risk reward strategy than stock owning this. At least you will start making close to a dollar for dollar as it goes up and you won't lose as much as it goes down. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it's fair fair to do this in my opinion. So I, 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 this is this is my strategy. I'm not saying everyone should get at 15, but but I feel feel good about 80, 80 deltas on something I'm very long-term bullish and hold on. And it's not using uh, the full capital, right? Like it's trading at 2350, yeah. you only, you know, so for every hundred shares, you want to pay 2350. Here I'm only paying 1450, which is like almost 60 to 70% of the total stock value. Mm. Right, so it's it's just a good way to trade this. Like anyone that wants to buy hundred shares of Helion, this is better than than buying hundred shares of Helion, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's just that they just don't know how to trade the. And that's deep, because deep, deep, because deep of the the Delta, money. right? It's delta, like above yeah. eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and okay. they just don't know how the the deep in the money calls work. Yeah, no, this is this is good. No, I'm glad you all brought up uh, Hillian. Uh, this is a great, uh, great company. Uh, I'm going to just hold on to it for forever. When, when you try uh, to suggest a strategy to sell put for Hylion, did you prefer to go weekly sell put or monthly? So I did like, so let me tell you what I did, right? Look. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went to January 2021. You see January 2021 here? I sold a 15 right here. Okay, and guess what? I even sold a call here as well. So you know what I'm playing? I'm playing ping pong here, okay? So this is this is a little more advanced back black belt kind of thing is I'm playing with both calls and puts. And I'm keeping on shifting that out in, out in based on as the price is moving higher. If it keeps moving higher, I keep rolling out the, the calls out. If it goes back down, I keep rolling the puts down kind of thing. And I keep playing that game and collecting my cost basis reduction in Hellion. So, so I felt comfortable with selling a put at uh, 15. So I'm collecting money here as well and, and and you see now when i you see this happens to be exactly at 16 delta okay and and guess what okay look i'm not i'm not like a rocket scientist here but look at how much uh how much open interest volume is just at 16 delta see that so that that's exactly those those key levels where your proper probability of profit is much higher kind of thing so But uh, you know, yeah, this this is kind of what I did with Hillian. So I, I want to write it up as much as I can, but by doing this, I want to lower my cost as well. Okay, I, I understand uh, the reason you sell 15 call put it is because the low delta. And what about what's the reason you choose 25? Uh, you sell call. 
so I chose 25. So I didn't place this trade today, right? I placed this trade way back, right? So this was probably at 16 Delta at that time. And just because Hillian has started moving up, okay, I, I have already reached this level at this point. Okay. Right. So the whole, whole idea here is now I'm going to push this out. Okay. Once it crosses 25, right? So I will roll this out to maybe 30 or something and collect more premium out on another future date. But it'll be definitely before 2023 for sure. Okay. Right. Yeah, the goal is to make your, your long position cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as you can get it. So one fine day, you don't feel bad if it goes down. You're just like, okay, I've made my money on this through other, other adjustment strategies. Okay. Right. Okay. All righty. So. Admit. Yeah. I don't want to take too much of uh, your time now, but. I do have one question. I have a lot of uh, uh, SPH options open. SPH, yeah, that's right. Yeah, suburban, propane. Okay, let's see what's cooking here. What is the strike you have? So uh, $17.50 strike. Expiry. Uh, for November 20th. 17.50 and call, you bought calls on this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, um, may want to I have close, a, you may want to close this one because you're going to be impacted by okay. decay. You're going, to, you're going to be impacted on decay on this one. You only have almost a yeah. week left and it's going to start slowly decaying with no movement. Yeah, I have uh, I have options on further out dates, and those are printing money. But this one here, um, even though the price is above seventeen fifty right now, mm -hmm. I'm still negative because I think it's a decay, right? That's the but now my ever. question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. What, what I'm thinking is, my question was, even though it's decaying, this SPH is coming back pretty fast. So do you think in the next few days, it'll like skyrocket by two, three dollars? Uh, I, I think not two, three dollars, but maybe another dollar or so, because it, no. it dipped after earning, right? It dipped and then within a day, came back up again. Let's look at the um, chart here. Let's look at the chart. Yeah, it's been stagnant for a while. It's just kind of channeling a little bit upwards. Uh, you know, you see there's two hits, one, two. I don't know, will it break out here now? Are you expecting it to break out above 18? Because it's kind of, Actually, it's pretty pretty tough to say it's going to break up because that's exactly where it kind of took a big deep dive in February too at that level. You know, yeah. Like to be honest with you, uh, yeah. I I I don't feel comfortable on that. Like holding on to it. Like like I'll tell you every day you hold on to it, the theta decay is going to be huge. Look at look at the theta. Okay, it's like two point. Nine nine. Th this is okay. outrageous. You're gonna lose three dollars every single yeah. Okay. On your on your contract value every single day. This is yeah no. This is really bad to hold uh, in eight days. Yeah, I would close gotcha. it. Yeah, I would close it asap. Yeah. Yeah. So Mitt, I think I spoke to you previously about capital gain mm -hmm. issue, the tax. So I'm. I'm a little more risk taker in a trade like this because if it goes to zero, 
you know, offset my capital gain tax. So I don't really mind. I, I like taking chan uh, chances on a social art trading. Okay. And, you know, so I'm thinking if, you know, if it goes to zero, that's fine. I, I lose some money. I don't, I only have 10, um, 10 I calls give you, on that I can one. give you more trades that you can lose on if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> if the intention is to lose, I can find a lot of trades you'll definitely lose on. No, these, no question and this market is so crazy, though. I mean, you, we see so many big dips and then so many, you know, just going up. Yeah. Um, so sometimes I like taking chances, hoping that it'll just go up just before the expiration. But I guess the decay is what the. So let, let me look for your decay. Let, let me let me tell you something on this one, okay? okay? Okay. If you want to take chances on it, if you really want to take chances, I would take chances on a further out contract, not on this one. On this one, in eight days, okay, even if it makes its headwind by maybe a dollar or a dollar fifty, you're just going to still lose mm -hmm. money. Just letting you know because the theta okay. is very powerful here and what theta is is time decay every dollar it goes every day passes you lose a few bucks you lose a few bucks on the contract in your mind you'll be saying oh man this is riding up like crazy i'm going to make a lot of money uh but but then you go back look at your price you're like man this thing price wrote up why am i not making this money what's going on here right so mm -hmm. Keep that in mind that, that it has a potential. The only time you, you will start seeing this go up is, I'll tell you exactly, it has to go $2.50 up, mm. $2.50. You, you can see the data, look, $2.50 up. It is almost, it's almost like almost $2.40 difference in theta right there. So that okay. means, that means, like this thing, two dollar fifty cents. So let's add two dollar fifty cents here. So that is nineteen. So maybe not by eight days. I'll say maybe in the next three days or so, it has to go all the way here up to nineteen something. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, if you want to lose on that and go make it go down to zero, you can donate the money to me. I'll, I'll keep <laughs> the money for you. <laughs> To the homeless, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it, it's just that I'm just being very frank with you. That yeah, unless you make it all the way in the 19s, you're yeah. gonna, you're, you're going to at least see at least a dollar of profit at that point, kind of thing. But okay, yeah. so can you see the uh, strike price of 17.5 with expiration on uh, February 2021? Okay, February 2021. Okay, that's fair enough. It's about 45 days, which is good. Uh, yeah, you see, theta is not that bad. It's less than a dollar, which is decent. Uh, okay. 15.5, okay. $2.50. Okay, this is, this is fair, but I will start managing this uh, in, I will tell you when to start managing this is in... 40 days so a month and a week okay a month later if this thing okay. doesn't make its move up okay you want to close it otherwise you're going to lose money start losing money on it like you want this to start popping like a dollar two dollars up okay. and, and, and i'm coming from a direction okay i'm not trying to tell you that like give you direction on the trade i'm just trying to tell you on the basis of how the options premium will decay or contract in that sense, right? So like, I'm just telling you that like, if it doesn't move up a dollar, then you start losing money. Okay. If it makes up $2, you'll still lose money, right? So I'm yeah. just giving you all the scenarios in that. Well, sense. I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, uh, that's pretty helpful. So yeah. uh, for the uh, February uh, expiration, just I, can, I have about a month to yeah. keep, uh, looking at it and and then i have uh may 21st and and may 2021 you, you, too, what do so. you feel about the it going further down do you think it can go further down no i i think i don't want to take this beyond next uh, few months okay no, propane 
no, no, I know you don't want to take it beyond next few months, but I'm just asking, do you have any, um, uh, not strategies, but do, do you, do you have any conviction that this thing will not drop below X price? Like, do you feel strong about a 14 level or a 13 level, like something like, you know that it will stay above that price anyway? Yeah, so um, if you read the um, uh, the money uh, conviction trade on yeah. SPH, yeah, John has a pretty high conviction on this propane. Propane, and he okay. explains it pretty well. And I have a pretty good feeling on a propane okay. trade. So, yeah. What's, what's I, I think we're, it's we're even going, going to... We're going, we're going from gas to electric back to propane? What, what's the deal here? <laughs> I'm just uh, propane? Yeah, it's uh, actually a COVID uh, trade, I think. Um, COVID. A lot of uh, dining's done outside now. And during winter months, oh. restaurants have to you know, sell. And then the all heat, the, the propane heat. heaters are sold out. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, and so you yeah, have the, I, I have an idea for the February, uh, 2021 trade. Okay. What okay. you can do is let me see the Delta here. Yeah. There you go. Sell the, sell the 15 put. Lower your cost basis by doing that. It will ask for more money, but it's totally worth it, right? You sell this put. Okay. I think you'll be able to sell it for 20 cents, okay? A little bit less than the mid price. You'll be able to sell for 20 cents. If you do that, that will help uh, lower your cost basis on the 17 and a half you're bullish on. Okay. Yeah, that one's going to like kind of, uh, it's kind of like lowering your cost basis with a little bit of extra investment. In worst case scenario, what's going to happen? You'll be forced to buy it at fourteen dollars and eighty cents, somewhere around there, which is fair. Uh, or we can roll this down as it starts going back down, so we can collect more money out in the future. So we can do either okay. one of those strategies. I'll uh, get that done, and then I have a fifteen dollar call for May twenty first. Ooh, very, very far out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I feel the same way on this one. Yeah. Actually, uh, so since you're doing a, you're doing this 15 here. Yeah. I would also do a February one at, you know what? I would start with 12.5 uh, here on this one. At least collect 30 cents here. Yeah. Okay. On the February one. Yeah. I think that's pretty fair. Fe uh, February one? The February. Yeah. Okay, instead of 15, 12.5? Yeah. Okay. And then May, $15 call? Yeah. What should I do with that one? May, no, no, no. Like, I'm just saying, if you're going to stay bullish on those, mm -hmm. it's probably in your best interest to go ahead and uh, we're going to stay bullish. You're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to sell the 12.5 call against it. Okay. You see, sorry, no, no, hold on. Let me clarify. 12.5 put, you put, know, okay. yeah, put. So the thing is, at least now you're kind of like, kind of lowering your cost basis on that outer trade by doing that. So for this, this 15 is for the short-term one. This one is the long-term one. The okay. 12, 15. So I'm just doing it one, one expiration cycle before each of the trade. So you have, a, you have a faster decay on that one versus the one you have. Now, if propane just goes down and all that you just shared doesn't happen, then, then we're totally screwed on this trade. Just letting you know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's hope that high conviction is true man <laughs> so can i give you one more yeah yeah go ahead, go ahead. okay i have a neo expiration oh, on january 15 
So we got IAR in just a second. And then we did, um, just a second, let me just write this down. Yeah, I have NEOs as well. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so tell me, uh, what is it? Uh, January 15, 21. You have a 21? Uh, yeah. That's a solid. This is 21 uh, call? The tw no, 29, 29 call. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair too. So this one is uh, close to behaving like a stock. So what I mean by behaving like a stock means it's moving up dollar, close to a dollar for dollar for every time the price goes up and you're not losing dollar for dollar. So, so it's, it's fine. Um, are you gonna stay bullish or what's the story there? I, because if you are, then you're going to help me decide my trade as well. Because <laughs> I have, you can see, I have the 25 call. <laughs> 25? Yeah, I, I have uh, all together about 20, 21. Yeah. Um, so I, I think in the long run, yeah, I want to continue with the long leaps because yeah. I think China is, is bullish with EVs in China. Because government is mandating that they go EV by, uh, I don't know, 2035 or something like that. Yeah. So here, here's my idea, uh, you know, Eddie. Here's my idea. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do, okay, uh, for my 25, which is pretty close to 29 right here. It, it's not, we're not in uh, too far apart from each other uh, okay. in our trades. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait this through December, okay, with this contract. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to roll this out further okay. expiration date because I, I know that after December, we're not going to be under the, you know, 45 days. So the decay happens faster kind of thing, but then I'll try to find something in the money out. So at least it grows in Delta as it goes up. So it's like, okay. it's like you make your money, harvest it, and then you again go out, set another one, harvest it again you kind of keep doing that consistently and, and that's that kind of okay. built that model. But along with this, I'm actually selling, um, selling calls against this as well. So I, I would say it's probably a good idea if you wanted to, um, you can consider, I, I don't know. Oh, dude, this thing, this skyrocketed today, man. Like- Yeah, you did. <laughs> it went up five bucks just today. <laughs> yeah, all the went up today. Xpeng, um, Lie, everything skyrocketed today. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is this is nice. So uh, I would say, you know, um, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, if I had to sell, I mean, like to be honest with you. Um, do you think by December we'll reach 65? You know, we're going to, they're going to have earnings next week on 17th. Next week, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to make it dip. Yeah. So, my, my opinion is maybe uh, it's a good idea to at least sell the 60, sell the 60 call against it, you know? 60, like, yeah. yeah. 60. If you sell the 60 or 65 call against it, you will make money on that. Um, this is the furthest contracts available. Like I can't go below that. Look, I can't even go down to 16, like this, like 31 Delta, like maybe 65 is the best one here. You can collect 330. So as long as you don't go to, as long as you don't, we don't reach 65, you're not even killing your bullishness. You're still staying bullish. Okay, on your trade. After yeah. 65, you'll still be bullish, but this will be taking small chunks of the profit that you're making in the other contract. 7GPJ5. Yeah. Okay. So sell 60 call for yeah. which date? Expiration date? Uh, December uh, 18th. Okay. So let's say it went down. 
after earnings. And actually, you know, you know, let me give you another little secret trick here. You want to do this like maybe a day before earnings. Mm. Okay. Why day before earnings? Because uh, Vega has expanded, like uh, volatility has expanded on this. So when volatility expands, guess what happens? You collect more juicy premium. Yeah. Got it. So maybe like maybe a day before earnings is probably a good time to sell premium actually, because that's when volatility is the highest. People are gambling like crazy through earnings. Mm -hmm. There'd be a bunch of people buying calls and puts. So you make money selling premium to them. That's exactly what happened with SPH. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it dropped, you know, right after earning. And they went right back up the day yeah. after. So. Uh -uh. Okay, that's good. so what what stocks did we cover today? We covered IVR, we covered SPH Neo. And then what else? Hylian. Hylian, yeah. Those those four. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Sounds Thank you good. very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for staying through this. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, catch up again. And uh, right, I'm, on I'm on Discord, so uh, feel free to hang out with me or ask any questions. Ask questions on the premium channels. You'll, you'll get other, other pros' opinions there as well, not just mine. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Okay, sounds good. Thanks a lot. Thank you.